गुड मॉर्निंग लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन जय हिंद आई एम ब्रिगेडियर विद्या सागर सर्व इन द आर्मी फॉर 32 इयर्स इन कोर ऑफ इंजीनियर्स एंड बॉम्बे सैपर्स आई रिटर्न इन 2004 मार्च सिंस लास्ट 17 इयर्स आई हैव सेटल्ड आउट इन सिकंदराबाद आई एम आल्सो मेंबर ऑफ आवर एक्स सर्विसमैन एसोसिएशन बेस्ड इन सिकंदराबाद बाय नेम ट्राई सर्विसेज एक्स सर्विसमैन वेलफेयर एसोसिएशन इन शॉर्ट seva now as you know uh, today's uh, subject which i'm going to talk to you is about one rank one pension now you know in the next election movement filed a case in the honorable supreme court uh, about one rank one pension since last 5 years nothing much was heard because of covid and so many other reasons many a time the 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 Uh, government council who pleads on behalf of the government doesn't appear in the court so adjournments and adjournments and adjournments finally thanks to the three judge bench of uh, honorable supreme court the advocate of uh, iesm has uh, completed his arguments uh, why uh, one rank one pension is not actually given to the ex servicemen though the government has promised now the government uh, council who is additional solicitor general Uh, Mr. N. Uh, uh, Venkat Raman has started his uh, arguments. Uh, it is only half, uh, uh, and uh, now again this is postponed to uh, next Wednesday. Uh, hopefully, uh, the Supreme Court will hear both the sides and give a judgment sometime, maybe by end of this year, and hopefully. uh all the servicemen may hear some good news about war op uh because of this uh, news item which is there in the whatsapp as well as in the mails and in, in the internet many members and non members of t seva has asked me to tell them something about war op because they are totally clueless so i have taken this opportunity to explain to you what is one rank one pension next now ex servicemen have been demanding one rank one pension for the simple reason a naib subadar in the third cpc and retired gets a pension less than that of a havaldar reason is the havaldar retired in fourth cpc the fourth cpc announces the pay and pensions so once the pay is enhanced the pension is 50% that's why the havaldar gets higher pension than a naib subadar so all the governments from 70s uh, till 2014 uh, did not want to give war op for the simple fear that if it is given to the uh, armed forces personnel then the civilian uh, pensioners also will demand finally the bjp government in 2013 made a promise at the time they were not in the government but the prime minister candidate promised that if his party comes to power he will grant war op and they kept their promise and war op was sanctioned by both the governments congress government or upa government was there in power till may 2014 in the vote on account budget they approved war op and paid 500 crores as a likely expenditure when the nda government came to power in may 2014 they also approved a war op in the budgets and created 1000 crores so from 2014 uh, since the war op is a new scheme a lot of discussions within the government uh, took place and finally 7th november 2015 a policy letter on war op was uh, issued by the government which i will show you and which i will discuss i, I don't know where you will be able to see it this is the policy letter of 7th november 2015 it is comprises of just very briefly two pages this page 1 and this page 2 I'll I'll cover this uh, uh, things. Uh. Then uh, in February 2015, the government issued how uh, 
the pension is going to be fixed. PCA pension, Allahabad sir, issued a circular. Again, I will show you. This is a circular triple five for Jaiso Suwar. And in a similar manner, they issued a circular triple five for officers. Uh, since you won't be able to uh, see much of it, I will explain to you all these things. The, the OROP means same ranked person, whether Sipai, same group, X or Y, same length of service, 15 years, 16 years, 17 years, they have to get the same pension of what was drawn by those ranked personnel in 2013. That is the uh, meaning of OROP. That means I am a brigadier. I retired in 2004 with 32 years service. So my pension should be same as a pension of another brigadier or uh, commodore of the Navy or air commodore of uh, Air Force who retired in the calendar year 2013 with my length of service of 32 years. That means my pension is same as his pension. That means the government has bridged the gap in pensions. Earlier, my pension was less than that of even a lieutenant colonel because he gets uh, uh, higher uh, pay in the pay commissions. So pension is going to be much higher. So this is the crux of a war OP. Now, The reasons for OROP I just now mentioned, whenever a new CPC comes, the pay goes up, pension goes up. That's why the earlier pensioners will get less pension, whereas the current pensioners will get higher pension. Next. Now you see, the anomaly is, as far as the officers are concerned, I retired in 2004, that is in the 5th CPC. In 6th CPC, my pension is fixed. Though I put in 32 years service, I am treated as if I am a brigadier retired with only 20 years service. What happened to my 12 years service? So naturally, another uh, the brigadier who retires in, let's say, January 2006, he gets a pension for his 32 years service. Whereas I, being a previous pensioner, get only at the minimum, that is 20 years. This is the the reason why past pensioners get less pension compared to the current pensioners because of the CPCs. Is it not irrational method of pension fixation? If I have retired with 32 years service, I must get the pension. Even if I retired in 2004, I must get the pension of another brigadier who retired in 2006. And that is exactly what the war of the demand of the ex-servicemen has been, which finally the government accepted and issued the policy letter of 7th November 2015. Next. Now you see, you take a colonel with 34 years service and unfortunately retires, let us say in December 2005, one month before 6 CPC, his pension is 27,795. Whereas another colonel retires just one month after, that is on January 2006 in the CPC, his pension goes by 28,700. You may say after it is only 1,000. But as in the next CPC, it will, the difference will not be 1, it will be 10,000 rupees. So that is the difference why past pensioners will always get lesser pension compared to present pensioners. And this is the demand of the ex This This gentleman also should get 28,700. If he is retired earlier, it is not his uh, mistake. Everybody retires after a particular uh, uh, age in the case of officers. In the case of JSO or SOR, it is the number of years service you have to put in. Next. So, the government in their policy later of 7th November 2015 said, we will give the same pension irrespective of your date of retirement, provided you are of the same rank, you have put in same length of service, and also you belong to same group X or Y as for the JSOs who are concerned. But we will revise the pension 
not every year, but only at periodical intervals. What is the periodical interval? It is five years as per the government is concerned. How is the pension of the past pensioner is going to be fixed? Since the government came to power in 2014, they said we will give your financial benefit only from July 2014. Okay, acceptable. Because they came to power in May. So they will give uh, one or two months uh, thereafter. July 2014 is absolutely correct. But how is the pension of past pension is going to be worked out? They said we will go to 2013, one year before. Whoever has retired, let us take the case of a Havaldar, 20 years service, why do? 43% of the pensioners who retire are in the rank of a Havaldar. I will explain to you why it is so. Now, if that Havaldar of 20 years service, Y group retires in 2013, there is a PO in the Navy equivalent to Havaldar. There is a sergeant equivalent to Havaldar in the Air Force. They also retire in 2013. Everybody doesn't get promoted at the same time. So, one Havaldar may become a Havaldar with just 10 years service. Another Havaldar in another battalion or another regiment or another armor service, he may become a Havaldar only at 18 years service. So, the Havaldar who put in 10 years service and retires at 20, for 10 years he draws the pension pay of a Havaldar with increment of a Havaldar. So, when he retires after 10 years, his pay is going to be much higher. Compared to another Havalda who got his rank at 18 years service and he serves only as a Havalda for 2 years, he draws to one increment only. What will uh, his pay be? Much lesser. So his pension is going to be lesser. Even in 2013, even in 2013, the POs, sergeants, and Havaldas will draw different type of pensions. So the government, they adopted their own method. What we will do? We will take all Havaldas. 20 years, all POs, 20 years, all sergeants, 20 years, all by group, let us say there are 4,000, uh, add all the pension, divide by 4,000, that is the average. So, any holder retired prior to 2013, if he belongs to Y group, he is put in 20 years service, we will give the pension of the average in 2013. I will also tell you how average is worked out. Now, as I mentioned, there could be Havaldar who has drawn more increments as Havaldar, so naturally his pay is higher, his pension is above the average. There could be any number of Havaldars or POs or sergeants who draw higher pension than the average. So you cannot bring them down. He is earned uh, because he got promoted earlier. Maybe because of merit, maybe because there are vacancies. So he will be protected. Now, what happens to those who also uh, get pension in 2013, but lower than average, they say no, we will bring them up to the average. This is the uh, uh, problem in OROP if you have an average. In 2013, now you realize how A may be above average, how B may be above, uh, above average, PO X may be above average, Sergeant may be below average. In 2013 itself, so, in 2013, there could be 100 holders who are drawing above average, there could be others who are drawing below average. So, there are multiple pensions even in 2013. And the war of definition is, everybody's pension is going to be same, if you put in same rank, same length of service and same group. Now, where is the war of in 2013 itself? That is the argument which t had been uh, uh, propagating. Next. And the government said, look, uh, financial benefit is from 2014 July and uh, the circular uh, was issued in uh, 2015 and finally the payments will be made thereafter. So arrears will come and that will be paid in four, six monthly installment. However, guarantee award winners and widows will be given in one go, whatever is there, I guess. Pension will be revised only after five years. So, war of 2013 with the benefit from 14 was there. Now, after 5 years, that means 2018, whoever is retired, 
their average will be worked out and benefit will be given from July 2019, which the government has not given on the pretext that uh, IESM has filed a case in the Honorable Supreme Court. Let the judgment uh, come, then we will see. Next. Government also says, why are you demanding war OP? You are demanding because you are retiring early. So if you seek premature retirement, then you are, then you are violating war OP. So we will not give uh, war OP for those who seek premature retirement. Government says, this is a, a new welfare program to benefit the soldiers. So there could be some anomalies, we do not know. We do expect certain anomalies will come up in implementation. So uh, we will appoint uh, one one man judicial committee by Justice Nasim Haradi, who is a retired Chief Justice of Patna High Court. He will look into it and he will submit his recommendations within six months. Tables for ORP will be issued in February 2016. Next. So this is what the government said in the policy letter of 7th November 2015. Now let us analyze this policy letter and see whether the past pensioners are getting ORP or not. As I mentioned to you, those who retired in 2013 itself are not getting ORP. Someone gets 8,000, someone gets 7,995, someone gets 7,800, whereas the average is 7,750. So where is the ORP? War of means anybody who has served in a particular rank of a holder with 20 years service, Y group, he should get 77.50. Because somebody earned higher, so he will get higher pension. Nothing wrong in that. So this problem could have been solved had average been replaced by maximum. So in the 2013, everybody would have got maximum of 7,800. And all the past pensions would have got 7,800. That is ORP and not the way government has uh, implemented. This is all handiwork of the Defense Accounts Department people. They will try in the name of saving money to the government, deny a justifiable, legally acceptable benefit to the ex -servicemen. Now, in the infantry battalions, you take any regiment. Let's say you take Maratha Light Infantry. You have first Maratha Light Infantry, second, third, maybe 20 uh, Maratha Light Infantry. The COs are about to promote. Now CO of, uh, that is the first Maratha Light Infantry, he finds suddenly number of people have retired in the rank of a Naik. So there are vacancies for Naiks. So he will conduct Umed War Cadre and promotes those who have successfully completed that Umed War Cadre depend upon this date of enrollment, so he promotes. So it may so happen in 1st Maratha Light Infantry, a guy with 4 years service as a sepai can become a Naik. Now you take 20 Maratha Light Infantry, there the CO finds in the same year, uh, there are no vacancies, so there is no promotion from sepai to Naik. Or if there is one vacancy, only one guy uh, uh, will be promoted, others will not, though they are joined uh, the army more or less same time. So in 20 Maratha uh, Light Infantry, a guy may become a, a Nayak after 8 years service. In one battalion, 3 years. Another battalion, 8 years. So the promotions are not uniform in one in one regiment of the infantry. Imagine artillery, armored corps, engineers, signals and services like ASC, AOC, EME. So every buddy is not promoted even though he joined the same day in the armed forces. That is the first reason. So in this case of first Maratha light infantry and Nayak became everything three years. Suppose he retires in 15 years time. So for, th for uh, next 12 years he draws the increment of a Nayak which is higher than the Sipai. In the case of uh, 20 Maratha Light Infantry, where the Sipai became a Nayak only after 8 years service, he also retires at 15, so he draws uh, increments of a Nayak only for 7 years. So his pay is going to be less, so his pension is less. Next. <coughs> 